back to my channel. Today we are testing out some makeup from Sally Beauty thing and I noticed a couple items and they have spray on primer, foundation, um, setting spray. I didn't get the blush or the bronzer um, but I did grab some of the products so uh, let's jump in and we'll try them all on. This is by Barely Sheer. Airbrush Cosmetics. This is the fa spray on face primer. It says it's long wear, neutralizing, moisturizing, and this one says shake can, hold six to eight inches away from face and spray. Spray and light pulses onto face. Let me just that's a really fine mist. Okay. Let's try this out. Oh, it stinks. <clears throat> oh, that smells horrible. Wow. It. Oh. I can't even, ugh, like musty, not musty, but like powdery musty. I don't, whew. All right, well, my face feels kind of, I feel like I got more on like my chest. I don't know, I don't feel like there's enough on here. Hold your breath. All right, and then I also got their airbrush foundation for two. It's just this light shade. It looks, um, got it. breathable, blendable. It just kind of looked close enough to my shade. I'm just guessing by the bottle. Okay, so that's a little bit tacky, the primer, but not too heavy, so that's not bad. So, I've actually picked up by Face Secrets this little Christmas tree blending sponge. Um, it's super soft. I uh, figured I would keep it dry. Hmm. This doesn't smell too bad. Oh, it's cold. Woo! I feel like it's not really getting. You know, I'm going to be brave and just go for it. Action. I feel like I need a bib with this. Yeah, that's sheer coverage, all right. Can you use a brush? Because, like... I feel like this is just a lot of work. Although I do think <clears throat> it's easier to sp actually spray it on your face and then go back in with a sponge. Oh, there it is in my hair. Actually, when I look at a mirror, it's not half bad. Obviously, my rosacea is not completely covered, but it is kind of nice, actually, for just, like, it doesn't, it doesn't really feel like I have anything on my face, so 
Um, that's kind of nice. I did, oh, hmm. I went to dampen my sponge with some Smashbox Photo Finish primer water and I feel like it kind of picked up some of the color. So I'm going to just do a whole nother, I feel like I'm using a lot of this product though. foundation spray all over. I actually am not hating it. It doesn't, this, um, the foundation, um, smells better and it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything. And I, th I thought it wasn't blending well, but when I look into a mirror that's not like my camera screen, It's pretty good, and it doesn't feel wet. Like, I don't feel like I need to put a powder on. To get to the setting spray, I do want to um, put some eye color on. And I got there, I've seen this probably, I mean, I've been a Sally Beauty member for a while, for a long time, and I've just never done it. Um, it's the Blitzy, I just love this packaging. It's the Blitzy, and you get the magnetic pan. Um, and that you can fill it in with colors. So the first color I got, I got a matte, and this is in Sambara. I got, oh yeah, some, no, this is freshly minted. This is, this was only one, this is, this was one of the few, if only, actually I think this is like one of the only colors in a matte. Besides the, um, that, like, beige shade. I got a highlight color in Cloud 9. And then I, this is so gorgeous. This is Moonstone. This is just, like, this iridescent, like, almost like an iridescent taupey color. All right, so let's, that's this, let's swatch them. So it picks up a lot of color on my finger, but it doesn't really show up a lot on my arm, but that's really not my eyes, so matte. This color I'm super excited about. That doesn't show up. And then, woo, pigmentation. So it's kind of hard to tell <laughs> on my arm. I'm gonna take just a, a fluffy brush and go in and put this cream shade all over the lid. I'm gonna grab a crease brush. <clears throat> this is a Sephora crease brush, number 73. And I'm gonna go into this teal shade. This one's definitely powder, more powdery. I'll go right into the crease. I feel like this does not want to blend. Well, I guess it does. Actually, I mean, well, it takes some work, but I don't hate it. Gosh, this brush. I was going to use one of these brushes. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to. Why not? But whew, these just feel like stiff bristles. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to go into this Moonstone color down here. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I can't use this brush. That brush does just not exist. Okay. I'm going to tap it on the lid. I wonder if this color... I feel like I'm not getting a lot of pigmentation from this. I wonder if I can use this wet. So I pick, I got a flatter brush. This is actually a concealer brush and I wet it and this seems to do a lot better. Do I want gray or do I want brown? I think I want gray. So I'm just picking up some gray and just putting it right on the outside corner. Right, now I'm going to pick up some of this white highlight. Whoa! White highlight shade. So the good thing is, is like, between, so these two colors here, the um, highlight shade and this teal color. They're super pigmented at first, but they blend out pretty well. And I'm really bummed at this Moonstone shade. It looks so pretty, but there's just like nothing here. Hmm. And I'm actually, so I filmed a video, but then I deleted it because it was just, it just wasn't good. I was just tired and exhausted. It just was bad. I was bored. So, but I did pick up from um, Ocean State Job Lot, not Job Lot, um, Big Lots, um, this Color Mates uh, Felt Tip Eyeliner. This was $2, and I am so impressed with it. Look at that. Isn't that great? Like, it's not too wet. It's not too dry. Some mascara on. My face secrets, which you can get at Sally's, is their um, brush cleaner. It's blue, like the Cinema Secrets. I really like that. And so now that this uh, foundation has set a little bit, it's kind of setting to a powder, which is kind of nice. All right, now it's time to try the setting spray. I I'm kind of, this is spray on makeup seal. Hi oh, side note. Hyperallergenic, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, and paraben-free. So, do all of these say that? They do. So, that's really nice. Um, and this is waterproof, 24-hour, and transfer-free. I don't know. That primer, whoo, that's dunk. At least it didn't stink like alcohol. It didn't burn. It just was smelled horrible. All right. Hmm, nice mist. Ah, uh, no, not a good mist. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> No. It, it just shoots water at my face. No. Mm -mm. Do not like this. I feel like it just ruined my makeup. It's like 
Now, this is also by Sally Beauty. This is their Real Colors um, Stay and Spray. This is fantastic. I mean, look at that. Doesn't smell horrible. Forget that barely sheer one. No. Woo! No. Get this instead. This I love. Yes. And I'm almost gone. Okay. Woo! Wow. So, in recap, um, that Face Secrets, so starting out, the Face Secrets, um, Christmas tree blending sponge. I, I actually like that sponge. Um, I like the different shapes of it, and the sponge feels um, comparable to Beauty Blender. The Barely Sheer Spray on Primer, uh, it stinks, but the mist is okay. Um, and I like that it's a little bit tacky. So this I'm going to have to play with. The foundation, I got shade 2. I actually, I would wear this again. Um, I'm quite impressed with it uh, for what it is. I like that it's lightweight. It's just enough. Um, the setting spray, heck no. No, 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 no. No. Just globs on my face. No. And then for the Blitzy Shadows, so they were like, a, I think they were $1.49 a piece. And you buy four and you get like the compact. Um, so the only... Yeah, look at, oh man. Ah, my face feels sticky. Um, the, I was actually quite impressed with the shadows. Um, the only one I didn't really like was this Moonstone. And I'm really sad because that's the color I really wanted to like. It's just gorgeous in the pan, but it just does nothing. I wonder if I use it as a highlight. Let me grab a fan brush. I think it's not even doing anything there. So that was the only real bust for the shadows. So that's it for my uh, Sally Beauty review and try on and haul. Um, I'm really impressed. Um, Guys, check it out. I have a membership. You can save more. From what I got, I was able to get a free tote. So, um, don't discount Sally Beauty Supply for makeup. I've been quite impressed with 75% of what I purchased. And that, yeah, not that setting spray. But the other one, the real colors, yes, get that one. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!